It is the internet. You're busy. Let's do this. Jeff Grubb for GamesBeat.com. This is Heat Signature. It is out now for the PC. I am going to be taking on a few missions and playing this for good uh, for some good time and for some informative action for your entertainment and purchasing decision power. I'm just I'm just saying random words now, uh, but that's what this game does to me. It gets me all loopy because it is I'm I'm really digging it. So uh, let's go over the basics, like what you're seeing here. Don't worry too much; it might look confusing. It's top down, so you're seeing like a lot of a uh, <coughs> lot of like weird character formations and things like that, and these tables with all this art on it. It looks kind of funky. Don't worry. Um, I am this random character here in the middle, and if she dies, I would be I will have to pick one of these other people, and so on and so on. It's kind of a, a roguelike in that way where. You're building up these characters to take on tougher and tougher missions. Um, I can talk to Seder Fiasco over here and take on a personal mission. But uh, I'm not ready for that. This character has not been out in space yet, at least not with me. So the point here is to take on one of these jobs. Let's take on one of these easy ones. <coughs> Excuse me, since that's probably all I'm good for right now. Let's see, it's a, um, a board. Uh, we're going to capture Orchard Euler aboard a small sovereign ship. Uh, Non-lethal weapon required. You'll need something that can knock your tar target out without killing them. Man, I'm glad I knew that. <laughs> I, I, I tend to go in there, guns blazing. Actually, I did not take that. So, um, and I end up killing almost everybody. A long alarm response time. We'll get into that. A few guards. This ship is running a skeleton crew. A few guards, not skeleton guards. It's important to know. Uh, you can see there's the, the guards and the bosses. Um, but let's just get into it. I'm going to accept... Oh, excuse me. Jesus. I'm going to try to mute in the future when I do that. My apologies. So, I have accepted this mission. What am I going to do? I'm going to go over this middle point here. I'm going to hop into my pod. And now I can see this green waypoint over here. I just left click. And my thrusters push me in that direction. The game is automatically zooming out for me. Uh, but what I can do is I can zoom out even further. And then I can hit F to speed up time. And then I can right-click to match the speed of the object in space that I am closest to, which is where I'm headed, uh, this capture point. So uh, from now, I, at this point, I believe these guys can start shooting on me at, at a certain point, but if I sneak up on them, they won't have time. And I want to get to this arrow because that is where I can dock onto the ship. So from here, I am now inside of their ship. I'm going to hit spacebar, and this is going to pause the world and kind of give me a chance to figure out what is going on. I have a wrench. I have a quiet gun. Quiet gun can shoot, and as long as you're pretty far away, people won't hear it. Um, <coughs> you can see there's that one person I need to capture. Uh, I got to be very careful because I want to capture them uh, when they're alone so I can knock them out and get at them without having to worry about anything else. Um, now, normally I would just go in, like I said, guns blazing. That is not what I'm going to do in this case. I think might try to get their attention. Okay, so what I did is I walked in front of that that uh, doorway. My guard, Orchard U or my target, Orchard Euler, saw me, but wasn't quite sure. As so you can see, that meter filled up. They decided to come investigate, and now I'm still paused. All right, I paused again, and I'm holding down the left click for my wrench button over here. And now I'm when I let go, it's going to uh, basically do like a lunging attack and, and knock him out. And I can go ahead and pop him in there, but I'm not finished. Damn it! You can see I got a pretty pretty long distance. That circle tells me how far I can go. <coughs> um, I could just like see it says deliver to friendly station. I could just take off from here, and that would be it. That would be we'd be done. We'd be good. Uh, but I want whatever is on this ship. I want to loot. I want to get this character beefed up. So let's knock this person out as well. And just to get him out of the way, toss him on here. All you got to do is just run onto your ship to uh, toss people on there. Long blade. That could be very useful when it is time to start slicing and dicing folks. All right. I think we just got some currency, some money just laying around. And we can see over here there is basically a crate. So we can open the cargo crate. And a high-capacity swapper. So I'm going to pop that right into my 
uh, my inventory. This is my on-person inventory. And it says, uh, teleporters move you instantly, but each type has unique limitations. Glitching has a price, but you don't have to be the one to pay it. Um, so glitching, I, it sounds like this could be an issue where you like splice someone when they get swapped. So click on anyone within the radius to swap places with them. So that could be very useful if you're trying to get through like a large ship. Um, each one of these like swappers, like you can see it says high capacity swapper. It's sort of like Borderlands where they add adjectives to the weapons that give it different properties. So high capacity means it's going to hold five charges. A lot, most of the time you're going to get three, but you might get extreme radius. Like it might be able to like swap you with someone very far away. That's not the case here. So, <coughs> damn it. Sorry. We are... Let's go ahead and let's walk through here. Homeboy, uh, that's the captain. Still asleep. What we're going to do is... Knock him the hell out as well. Take his long blade. And then check out this cargo crate glitch trap. Alright, I'm going to take that as well. I'm going to stash you. Oh, there we go. I think I'm going to stash you as well. I don't want because we already have a quiet gun. So now these are going to teleport items on this ship to you. So th these are like in my stash. And I can teleport them to me at any time if I need them. Um, but I don't, I don't need them right now. So instead, we are going to fly the ship. So we just took over this dude's ship, and I could just hit the F button, and it makes that little beeping noise, and now it's going to fly this back towards my base. I can zoom out, and we can see that. Now I'm going to hold down F again. It's going to make that beeping noise like I told it to go home again. But if I hold it down, it will go into that fast motion mode. And boom. Here we are. Uh, a lot of times you would get like um, more currency for doing that extra work to bring in the ship, but that ship looks like it wasn't worth jack, jack or squat. So what I'm going to do here is I'm, I got the dude. I'm just going to drop him off at the drop point, and that's that. And there we go. We got uh, we got paid 13 credits, and what we could do is head on out of here and take on another mission, um, or, or I could go shopping. Thing is, I'm probably not going to have enough money for anything special. I mean, I, I could get the quiet quick fire gun. I'm okay. Let's just uh, let's head back out there, and this time let's actually take on something more more challenging. Let's do this medium one. Assassinate Satera Vassar. So aboard a small sovereign ship, I'm going to find a, a Satera Vassar. It's got a very short alarm response time, 28 seconds. So that means if I get um spotted, if I don't kill the captain. Or escape within 28 seconds, my character is either going to be killed or captured. And then that, that's the end for that character. So let's go ahead, let's accept this. Get on our pod. Zoom out. And head on over to our assassin, assassination target. Oh god. Oh, fuck. Okay, so I just bounced off. I, I don't know if they notice that sort of thing. Sometimes they do. I've definitely been shot at before. So let's zoom out a little bit and see what we can see. Um, so you can see like they have different kind of key cards here. Oh, this guy's already moving. Um, now, I, I just take that guy with the wrench. I'm not always going to be able to do that. Sometimes these, gu these guards are, gun are going to get armor that protects them from not only wrenches, but from, like, deadly melee weapons, like long, long blades. Um, and that's, that becomes an issue really quickly. So let's go ahead and let this person get in here. Just make my collection of bodies a little bit larger. I actually see something important over here. Yeah, just some credits, but always important, always crucial. Um, I haven't killed anyone yet, and I haven't really had to. Um, but I do have that long blade if I want to start doing that, or even the quiet gun. Let's see here. Uh, let's glitch trap. Places a trap at your feet that teleports enemies to the location you clicked. Can't teleport people into solid matter, but can teleport them into space. Can be used three times. These, these kinds of things here, I feel like... Um, I want to save these for when I need them for, like, a hard mission. So I'm going to start stacking that stuff away, uh, putting it in the locker, and I'll bring that out. We're going to try a hard mission. We'll see if we can, can't can use all our tools. I haven't succeeded at a hard mission yet, so let's, let's try to make that happen. Wait, 
Wait, what the hell? Did I not do that right? Why is it putting them on the ground? Oh my god, okay. Well, hang on. I don't, I don't, this is being weird, so I'm going to <coughs> activate my wrench and my quiet gun. We'll worry, we'll worry about that later. This guy's on a terminal. Just toss him out into this hallway. And now he is no longer a threat. And there is my assassination target, right there. It doesn't look like, it doesn't look like there's a lot of other people to worry about. There is a level three key that I will need. Hell yes. Oh, I gotta kill this person, don't I? Yeah. Um, take them far away. Okay. I don't know. Uh, you know what I could do? I could just put them out in space. That's what I could do. I wonder if I can, like, hit them with a sword now that they're, like, if I just, like, dump them on the ground. Uh, and then pick up a sword. Alright, well, now he's in my ship. So I'll, I'll have to figure out how to kill him. That's important. Long-range visitor. Uh, teleporters move you instantly, so this is another teleporter. We can... Let's actually stash this. And then... And why does it keep doing that? I feel like this is a, a bug of some sort. Alright, whatever. This dude... You're allowed to walk through the... Oh, no, that, that's the captain. He's like... I thought... I always think they're asleep, but they're not. He's just at, the like, the pilot's chair. Well, I definitely want to kill this guy because I want to get this crate over here. Oh, man, I just used my longsword. We can go back to the wrench. Cool. And that's that. So now the ship is secured. I can head down this hallway, open this door, and see what's in here. Concussive grenade launcher. And I wonder if this is, maybe it's too full. Maybe I need to get rid of some of these things. Nope, it's still there. Can replace the gun. How about that? All right. You know, I'm pretty decked out now. So what we should do is, let's take this whole ship back. I, well, I should. I gotta figure out a way to kill this guy. I think I know just the way to do it. <coughs> Wish there was like a a way to like throw this guy just out out of the airlock. That would be cool. But you know what? Let's just use one of our fun weapons. Let's see. Concussive grenade launcher. Oh, damn. I just break that window open? Okay. Well, that, now that's scary. I should probably get out of here. I mean, I think you're starting to get the idea. This is Heat Signature. It's a ton of fun. There's a lot of options. Objective killed. <laughs> Return to station. All right, he's dead now. So, oh, no, I don't want him. We can just hop in here. I wonder if I can, like, see these dudes now. That's what I would like to do. But it doesn't look that way. So let's actually head back on here. I want to take this ship back to my base. Get into 
that captain's chair, hit E, and set a course for home, and then hold it down, fly her all the way back into the bunker, and there we go. Non-target crew killed, too. Man. I should, I, I really want to take, like, set up a, a, one of those traps to shoot the guy out into space, um, but we'll see if we can use that next time. So, let's see if there's anything here. Let's uh, take a look at the stash. <coughs> All right, I got over here. I think we can just uh, let's get rid of these. We don't really need those. Cool. All right, let's take on a hard mission. I think. Let's see if there's anything in the gadget shop. Gun shop, silenced gun. What do I have? I have a, a quiet gun. Alright, so you know what? Let's sell that and buy that. No, that could be... Alright, great. Because the silence gun is actually silenced. You have to be within one meter f to hear it go off. So most people won't hear it at all. It's a much more useful weapon. Um, let's check out the miscellaneous store. Overpriced restockable remote concussive grenade launcher. Short blade. Overpriced mystery crate. Don't need any of these things. Let's go ahead. Let's take a mission. Let's try to take a hard mission. Hijack the Prince. 74. This looks like it could be really hard. Um, so if guards sound the alarm, you'll have 66 seconds. There are many sentry guns. This ship has a number of stationary guns inside that fire immediately if they see you. They can be neutralized by crash beams, subverters, or explosives. <coughs> this ship is flying through hostile territory and will come under heavy missile fire while you're aboard. This is a terrible idea, even by your standards. Oh, man, I'm going to... There's no way I'm going to su uh, succeed at this. Few guards. This ship is running a skeleton crew. Okay, well, that's good. Guards. Uh, they've been, When alerted, puts up a, a temporary shield that reflects all damage. Turn it off when they can't see an immediate threat. Kind of the same thing. Let's accept it. And let's check out the explosive shop. Grenade launcher. So I got another grenade launcher. Okay, this looks pretty good. I feel pretty good about this. High capacity swapper. I think that's going to be our key to victory. <coughs> so, let's zoom out. Let's see where this thing is. All right, let's go hijack the Prince. Ooh, that's a big ship. Okay, all right. Space bar. Let's zoom out. Neutralize all enemies. All right, so that's like, that's the key. War zone, okay, attack incoming in 20 seconds. So this is a whole thing. All right, let me go back. Um, there's the sentry. Let's see. Let's just like let's just let this guy come to me. And you know what? Long blade. Let's kill this motherfucker. All right, we're at you and my body pile. All right. All right. We are making some progress. Although there's that sentry weapon now. Oh, shit. 65 seconds until capture. Oh, no, I was just thrown out into space. This is bad. Okay. All right. Damn it. All right. Let's head back to the ship. It's 53 seconds. We can do this. Damn it. Did I just get... Did I just get killed? Where's my weapon? Damn it, I just got shot. Oh, 
Man, there's no way I'm going to do this in time. Oh man, where's the where's the key? All right, high capacity swapper. Can I swap with them? I feel like they're not in range. 17 seconds. There's just no time. This is a boner move, but I gotta kill the captain. Fuck. No! Damn it, I'm unconscious. I'm fucked. I didn't really have any other option there. And I was just, yeah, they just, tonight we drink to carbon horologium. And I was just captured. Fuck. So you could see, like. <laughs> There's a lot of build up there. Man, if I, I was not expecting the attack to like shoot my character out into space, like right to, right, right to begin with. Um, and I also wasn't expecting like once that attack happened for me to be in a situation where <coughs> I was going to be captured. But, you know, it turns out like once they are under attack of any sort, they're going to like run home to mama. So I had 60 seconds to do anything and I got knocked out into space twice. So that was a whole thing. Man, all right. Uh, let's go. Let's go again. Let's take on Corona Stone Dock or whatever it was. And let's just do a hard mission. There's no way I'm gonna be able to do it without anything, but I don't have anything. We'll give it a shot. We'll see what I, what I can do. Um, uh, let's see. Gun shop. Yeah, I don't really have anything. What if there's anything in the stash? Nope. Long blade. Oh, I already had a short blade. Well, that was a waste of money. Okay, doesn't matter. All right, let's go for it. I got nothing at all. We're gonna make this work. Oh god, I don't, it, the, the timer's already going. What the fuck? Alright, so we gotta go, we gotta run. There are. Uh, what the fuck? Chargeable high capacity crash beam. Turns off turrets, shields, and any electronic guard kit, even through walls. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Come on. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Damn it. Well, fuck. <laughs> okay. So clearly that's not going to work. I think I need to actually prepare each time. Damn. That was not like it was already counting down. God damn. So I think what we're going to do is I'm going to come back to this game. I like it a lot. I can see myself like really uh, playing it a ton. Wow. Vela Gordo has a ton. Like what's up with that? Vela Gordo. Is that someone I played as before? All right. Did I rescue Villa Gordo? And that's why I have all my shit back? Because I totally... Okay. You know what? Never mind. One more. One more hard mission. Board a large glitcher, sh glitcher ship. A non-lethal weapon re required. We could do that. Okay. What do I have? What do I have? Long blade. That is very lethal. There's my non-lethal weapon. Uh, all right, let's uh, let's get aboard our pod. Let's go for it. <coughs> this is it. This is the one. Although, hopefully, it's not already counting down like the last one.
Oh god, damn it. I just was seen. Okay, so hold D E A. Jesus. So yeah, that's like when they attack. Nah, fuck this. I'm going for it. I'm going for it. Shit. Okay. So who do I... I, I need to capture that person. So that's the person I need to, like, not hurt. Seconds, great. Oh no! Oh, I just shot the glass and got shot out of the space again. Oh, I'm such a dummy. All right, let's let's go rescue my stupid body. Ah, oh, great. Well. Let's get the hell out of here. Let's um, thrust towards home. What is that thing? All right, cool. So we made it home. Pod repaired, but emergency fuel capacity reduced to 70%. Okay. I think that's actually going to do it this time. Um, I Like I said, I'm coming back to this game. I'm probably going to stream it. So twitch.tv slash Jeff Grubb for more. Um, I'll definitely be playing some more. But thank you for watching. Gamespeed.com. This was Heat Signature. Out now on Steam. Go buy it. I like it a lot. That's my recommendation. So thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time.